Hello you guys, welcome back to the channel. So I did a little bit of damage on Aloe Yoga's website. Fast forward to right now, I finally got all the packages in. They look like a damn wedding cake. They are stacked to the brim. This is a very voluminous haul that you're about to see. What I've found with Aloe Yoga from my personal experience, I've been shopping them for years now. I've come to find for me, there are usually hits or misses because my weird body type sometimes agrees with the outfits and sometimes I'm like, oh my, this has to go back. I know a lot of you agree. We've talked about it many times. So that is why this video is such a huge haul. Not only did I want to test out a multitude of styles, but I am well prepared for some things to head on back. If you are new to this channel, welcome. My name's Ashley. We make a ton of videos on fit fashion. Everything you see in today's video will be individually linked down below for you. Super convenient. This way you can get right to the piece and check it out. So we're not sitting here for three hours going piece by piece. I'll be showing the outfit as a whole, how I decided to style and pair things. And then I'll hop right into the try on to tell you how it fits. Leading off with one of my favorite sets. You've seen it on Instagram, you've seen it on shorts, you've seen it on LTK, and now you're about to see it here. None other than the Take Comfort Ribbed Set in Cranberry. When I first saw this on the site, it actually wasn't even in the new releases. I just happened to stumble across it because I was looking at a jacket in Cranberry. So you know how it shows you other things that they're just pressuring you to buy? Well, that's what happened and it worked, apparently I bought it. So this is a full-fledged thick rib lounge set. I'm actually starting to notice that when it comes to aloe yoga tops, I need to size down to an extra small. They run a little bit big. So this is a halter top, non-adjustable, V-neck, super low cut, sexy bralette paired with the matching wide leg loose bottoms. Something I have to note is that this color is limited. I got it on sale for 31% off and I was very happy about that. It's about time Aloe Yoga gave me a break. Hitting you with that cranberry yet again. They're big with the faux fur this season. This feels like a big fluffy blanket. What caught my eye was the black trim. No, I'm just kidding, it's the cranberry color. But the black trim, not even trim, accents if you will. It's like a faux leather breakup. There is a sheen, a shine, a glimmer, a glitz on this jacket. No lie, I have notoriously been cheap when it comes to winter jackets, notoriously. Like if I spent over $100, I'm mad at myself. This is the first time that I went over a hundred bucks. <laughs> and I'm not totally mad about it. Now, this was almost four, I can't even say it. <laughs> this is almost $400. A huge part of me was just super curious, which is why I ended up buying it. They also have it in a black and a chocolate, but again, this was a limited edition color, and I can't think of a better color right now for this season, fall into winter, it can work for both. This feels like I'm wearing a blanket from my grandma's house. This is so comfortable. I will insert a picture, a close up of the material, and please tell me you know where I'm coming from. This is the perfect staycation set. I can see myself going to Colorado up in the mountains, drinking hot chocolate, wearing this. Now that would be an actual vacation, but it does work for both. I'm telling you, this is my favorite set out of everything. I feel like the wide leg works with this. You got a little nice titty action going up front. You got a little low cut up here, a little wide down beneath. I feel like this flows really nicely. No adjustments, but boy, am I glad I sized down. Because extra small, great. Small would have been just slipping up. My small bottoms are working though. The elastic band is very comfortable. You got a thick elastic band right here. And are you surprised this is long on me? I don't care because I'm just chilling in this. If length would be an issue for you, you could totally size down. I think you can get away with it and it might help. I think it's safe to say this entire set is going to be kept by moi. Now it's not as long as I usually like my jackets. I tend to like length because I'm a petite, kind of elongates the body, yada, yada, yada. But this is just the right length. Like if it was any shorter, I might pass. <laughs> Gone are the days where Ash wears crop jackets in the winter time. You kidding me? I did it for show for the longest time. I constantly froze all winter. What was I thinking? This is an effortless zip. I always have to mention the quality of the zipper because some jackets come in and you're like, oh, they're so pretty. And then you go to zip it up and you're like, no issue here, really nice quality. Again, I have to mention how much I'm loving the strips of faux leather throughout this entire jacket. It goes all the way down on the arms. If this did not have the faux leather breakup, this could look really ultra puffy. 
but because they added in those strips of faux leather, it brings the piece in a little bit and makes it have a bit of dimension, a little curvature. Uh, I like it, it spices things up a bit. It adds a little bit of athleticism to the piece and then it makes it okay to wear faux leather leggings or just black leggings easy to style. This hood is massive. It is legit. I could just sink into it like this, just curl up and no one can see me. It doesn't feel overly heavy. This jacket doesn't feel like I'm like holding up 10 pounds. It still feels relatively lightweight while keeping me very toasty. Silky interior. You also have two zip pockets. The pockets are very warm too. It's not this liner in the pocket. They actually feel like mittens, like hand warmers. So you put your hand in here and you're gonna feel really toasty. 10 out of 10, this is staying. The rib comfort set is staying. I already made up my mind. So I went ahead and rolled the dice on this, but I bought a pair of the airlift leggings. Look at that front seam. Unbelievable. I wanted to have a full matching set that I dress up. Last month I almost bought this set in the limestone they came out with and I'm so glad I held off because I actually really like the tote better. I like this set because of the heavy contrast on it. You got the really nice black breakup going on here. The thing I like about Aloe Yoga is they come out with signature pieces just in different seasonal colors. They stay true to the seasons like myself. I have this bra in black. It is stunning and beautiful but I noticed that it's still a little bit big even though there's adjustable straps. So I size down to an extra small and a small in the leggings. I hope I even fit in the leggings because their leggings are a little bit weird. I specifically bought this to pair with a super long black Sherpa. So they have the real faux fur look and then they have the more Sherpa style. I wanted to try a little bit of both. I bought an additional bra because I have really good experiences with the airlift bra tank. I have one in their gravel stone color and I love it. There's no padding or anything. It's more just smooth double lined going on. But I think I love the simplicity of the logo placement right on the collar, the open back. I just love this bra so I grabbed it in black to pair with the taupe. What are we thinking about this heavy contrast? Because we cannot deny that this is quite the eye catcher. It caught my eye on the website. It's because of this contrast. What's really interesting and cool about it is you have a very slippery base and then this black contrast is actually a soft velvet. I'm really super glad that I sized down in the sports bra. Like I said before, my small, it would hang open after wearing it all day. This feels so much better and secure. It's adjustable. You actually have a really nice heavy duty clasp in the back. But like always, you have the notorious aloe yoga nip seam. Overall sports bra, beautiful. Love it just as much as the other one. The leggings. Come on aloe yoga, now you're starting to piss me off. Get rid of the front seam, we're good. Not even, I lied. This, this back is way too tight on me. I do know that there's certain materials I gotta look out for. When it's this really slippery fabric, it just doesn't work for my body type. This material's not it, it's not it. The waistband's actually a little bit big, a little loose right here, a little flipperoo going on right here. The side leg paneling's cool though. Really breaks it up, makes it look very sporty. I wouldn't even wear this for yoga. I can't even see it being that comfortable for yoga because if it's constricting right here, how am I gonna do that? So with that being said, the bra would be a keeper for me. The leggings are going back. The Sherpa. So if you don't like that faux fur look, here's a little more toned down way of wearing a fuzzy jacket. There is absolutely no way to close it. You have zippered pockets. I size down to an extra small, still huge. Unlike the other jackets, the lining is not slippery though. It's more of a cotton base. And for my tried and true airlift tank. I just might get one in every color. I love this high neck. It is so comfortable, it is silky smooth. Their tops are banging. It's a bra tank. So you got a built in bra, no bra pads. It is thick enough to wear though, as is. I have, I've worn it to a gym, it's fine. Of course you have that elegant open back, nice statement for the piece. These types of tops are really good for mix and matching because they're mostly solid colors. I know that Aloe Yoga likes to divvy up with all their crazy everything going on, <laughs> but these are the most subtle pieces and I love them. You can even dress them up with high-waisted jeans and a cardigan, like they work. Needless to say, this is staying with me and I'm gonna add more of these to my arsenal because I love them that much. Totally forgot to mention that I bought a black cap to go with that black set with the black Sherpa I forgot to mention. So let me just 
put that on. I have a all white aloe yoga cap and now I have a black one for the season. I love it because the logo, the ALO, is a really thick embroidery going across. It's three dimensional, you can feel it, touch it, and just enjoy. Really good solid baseball caps, good for the gym, whatnot. This set I'm about to show you is one of the most unique sets that I've bought from Aloe Yoga yet. I can't really recall what it's called because it's long. What is it, Bay? Jacquard High Waist, Glen Plaid Flutter Leggings, and the Jacquard Glen Plaid Gratitude Bra. So this is their plaid leggings and their plaid bra. This is in their cinnamon brown color. And guess what? In case you didn't know, it's limited edition. When I first saw this on the site, I knew this had to come home with me because I have not seen this design from Aloe Yoga and I needed it for fall. I needed to style this flare, this open flare, because it's a very vintage style to me and you know I like that. <sighs> oh mama, look at this. Look at this. This chocolate brown faux fur always. This jacket is so insanely warm. Again, that shiny fur, who is she? I feel like I'm a rock star, like Hollywood. Let's start with the bra. As you know, Aloe Yoga is notorious for their nip seam. They always have a seam that just loves to run up and stop right at the nip. This set's no different. <laughs> you still have the nip seam on here, but it's fully disguised in this plaid lay. So no hard nip syndrome here, we're good. There's no adjustments on this bra, but sizing down, I'm okay, I don't need it. Moving on to the leggings. Keeping my true size small in the leggings was also a good look, I'm happy with that. First thing I noticed when putting these on, effortless to put on, really nice stretch. Hugs the glutes just right. In fact, I feel like this is one of their leggings that actually do it right back here for me. When you first look at this set, I think it's the design that threw me off. It looks like it would just be super stiff. No, this is very thick and stretchy. Not something to wear to the gym, I'm gonna say that again. But really thick and cozy. I'm not sure if I love the fact that there's no buttons or zipper to close this, not even a tie. I gotta keep it real for the price point. They should have some kind of closure, right? I mean, for how expensive this jacket was, I want that option, I demand it. They have that slippery liner right here. You got the faux fur everywhere. It's very warm overall. It's a warm jacket, quality feels nice. The only branding you have is on the shoulder. It's a nice little patch that's sewn in. I think for my height, this length works. If it was any longer, it'd start to look like it was a mistake. I feel like this is the perfect stylish Fit. I think overall, if this had some kind of zipper right here, I'd be more inclined to maybe consider keeping it. So my final thoughts, the sports bra is awesome. I'm considering keeping that because there's black in it and I have a ton of black bottoms that'll go with this bra. I'm gonna have to return these leggings because they're too long and I'm literally stepping on the material as we speak and I'm tripping myself. The jacket, I love the color. I love the warmth. I think depending on what I end up returning for the rest of the haul, I'm 50-50 right now with this. So, so far, I'm gonna keep it. So you know how I'm always saying I really love medieval vibes? I specifically love them in my athleisure. And when I saw that Aloe Yoga came out with a corset look, I was like, yeah, man, I'm sold on this one. I believe this is in their chocolate color, if I'm not mistaken. So I went a little darker with the shade. I got the full matching set, the corset bra and leggings. And you have a front seam too. Awesome. You have this inner elastic band. Wow. Ooh. Oh, I don't think my ass is gonna fit in that. To go over top, because we have to with every single outfit, because I live in New Jersey and it's very, very cold almost all year round. P.S. Drop a comment down below. Where do you live? <laughs> Where are you from? Again, I'm from Northern New Jersey, right on the border of New York and Pennsylvania, right at that little tri-tip. I'm not gonna lie, it's already starting to get real frigid outside. Right now, I don't mind, because I'm like, yeah, full. But the second Christmas is over in January, I'm like, get me the fuck out of here. So to go with this rich, dark chocolate corset, I forgot what I was saying. So I paired the espresso set with, they came out with blazers, and boy, is this the thickest, most real blazer I've ever felt. I wanted to not go with the identical color because that's too much espresso. And you know what happens when you drink too much espresso. You get geeky. Same thing would happen with that outfit if you just like did the whole thing espresso. I had to break it up. And in fact, I noticed that the espresso is in the buttons. So this is in the color tote. And you guessed it, limited edition. <laughs> Holy camel toe. <laughs> I struggled a bit to get these leggings past my glutes. 
That is pretty typical. So I would definitely size up if we have similar measurements. When squatting, it feels really tight on my bum. Now do keep in mind, this is a corset style set, so meant to be compressive in certain areas. I don't know if I'm loving the bottoms though. This is a pretty damn thick in your face seam. <laughs> Just drawing your eye right to something else that we don't wanna look at. I notice Aloe Yoga's coming out with a lot of leggings that have a built-in thin strip layer, like underneath, so it almost looks like your underwear's popping out. I noticed that a few times on different leggings where it literally looks like your thong's hanging out. <laughs> this kind of looks like it too because it, there's a different shimmer right here. It's very noticeable and eye-catching. I'm actually not a fan of the way these leggings look. The bra. I am though, because I'm complicated. I'm a complicated woman. I love this corset bra so much. It actually makes more sense to have a corset up here and not here. I kept a small up top, not an extra small. And I'm really glad. I actually love the way it fits. I think if I sized down, it'd be too tight. I also knew this was adjustable, so I was okay with going with a small. I felt like the corset sucking you in. I was like, you know what? I don't want to be uncomfortable. Let me just stick with my size small. It's good that I did. It really perks the girls up really nice. You got the built-in support, the bra pad, really nice. What do we got going on under here? So you do have a little bit of a elastic band too, so decent support. So with that being said, the bra's a keeper, leggings are going back. Like I said, I wanted a little bit of a contrast. Ooh, but some similarity, some flow to the piece. So like I said, I'm not keeping the leggings, but I wanna showcase what a little mix and match can do for you. So what are we thinking about this taupe blazer? When I first saw these blazers online, I was like, I don't know what to expect here. Is it gonna look overly huge? It does, it looks like it's overly huge on the models. <laughs> Mind you, I sized down, little fun fact. I've been starting to roll all of my cardigans and things up right around the wrist area, and then all of a sudden, you look a little more put together. This just looks a little too big, almost a little sloppy. This, all of a sudden, damn, is she a businesswoman? Overall, this blazer's pretty heavy feeling. I've had a lot of blazers where it's very light. This one has some density to it, some weight. I really like the length. Right below my kneecaps, that's my sweet spot. However, I think it's one size too big for me. Even though I size down to an extra small, I think this just a little too oversized for me. I have a lot of cardigans that look similar. May not be a blazer, but I have a lot in my closet that look like this. I think I'm gonna return it and get my money back. So when I saw that they put out body products, I was a little like unsure. I was thinking to myself, you're aloe yoga. What are you doing with body products? <laughs> They want to take that holistic route and so do I. So I figured, you know what? Let me try a couple of the things that caught my eye. So here we have the Supernatural Deodorant and the Aloe Glow System Head to Toe Glow Oil. This deodorant, all natural, no aluminum, just what I've been looking for. I want to be able to sweat at the gym, nothing clogging my pores, nothing unnatural. This is made out of Amla, Aloe, Probiotics, and Hyaluronic Acid. It goes on like a bomb. It is not sticky, it is not slimy, it's not a gel where it's like, what the? It's so smooth and it doesn't cake up. I've had natural deodorants that when I sweat, it actually cakes up and looks like cottage cheese under my arms. I've actually had a deodorant literally smell like dairy. Like I was like, what's going on here? This smells like a really, really light, fresh citrus. Light, not overpowering. When I close my eyes, I'm really good with scents, by the way. I go like this. Smells like those candy Coke bottles. A little, little fizzy in a good way. So when I wear it to the gym, it does the trick. It masks my nasty BO. I smell pretty good. If I really get an intense workout in though, yeah, I'll start to smell a little bit of funk. Not nearly as bad as if I didn't put this on. So what I'll do is do another refresher and then I'm good for the day. It is definitely better than not having it. It's the best natural deodorant I've tried, so I figured I would talk about it. This head to toe glow oil. Oh. Love you. I love it. I knew I would love it too. When I saw it, when I was reading about it, nice light glow, I was reading reviews. I was like, this seems like something I will just, mm. I actually wear this before I go to the gym. I put a little bit on my skin and it gives me a natural glow without being overly oily. It makes me look like I perspired a little bit at the gym. It makes me glow, it makes my tan look sick. I've actually been wearing this in my past couple of YouTube videos since I got it. I actually had a gal, I didn't even mention it, and I had a gal comment and ask me, what have I been doing? My skin looks so dewy and glowy and healthy. This is it. It lasts pretty long too. I put this on a few hours ago and I still feel like I look dewy, but here's a little bit so you can see. 
Oh, see that? You see what I mean? It's a Lux Ultra Rich Rapid Absorption Elixir that deeply hydrates and locks in moisture for a visible glow. Vitamin C rich amla. Again, they're using the amla like in the deodorant. Nature's most powerful antioxidant, super berry. It kind of smells like if you took a little bit of tangerine juice and then put a whole lot of water in it and just diluted it. That seems to be their signature thing with their body products, a very light citrus smell. Like I said, I've been wearing this for the past few weeks. I don't smell it when I'm wearing it. Like I don't sit here and go, ooh, ooh, ooh. No, nothing wafting up. It just absorbs into the skin. You really don't smell anything. I have to close the show with this damn bucket bag. <laughs> This bag has been sold out for the longest time on Aloe Yoga's website. I randomly checked one day and it was back in stock and I snagged it right away. This right here is my purse. I don't actually wear normal bags. It's always one of those athletic crossbody bags. That's what you'll catch me wearing. I particularly like this one because of its ease of access. You got the draw cord, no zippers going on to unzip and all that bull. You just open it up, there's a few compartments. It's deep enough to hold my obnoxiously long wallet. You can also fit a small water bottle in it too. You have two pockets up here that are open and then you have a Velcro open pocket in the back. So a good amount of space just for your bare essentials. And of course you got the adjustable crossbody with the aloe text going around. I love that little chic look. I hope you guys enjoy this aloe yoga fall haul. Thank you so much for being here. I love you guys and I'll catch you in my next video.